Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it is the 29th day of November. Time as I make this is 3.39 a.m., all right? So you and I have been talking about this uh, particular storm system for many, many days. I think we started talking about it maybe as long as two weeks ago. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, we're starting off the day quiet. Yesterday we had a high of 70. Today I think we're up to about 74 degrees today. Much of the day will be dry. Risk of showers and thunderstorms will begin this afternoon across the, uh, the area and increase uh, into the evening hours tonight. Uh, then some of the storms will become strong. In fact, the uh, greatest threat of some of the stronger storms here locally would be later on tonight and through the overnight hours. But it's going to be a very dangerous day across the southern U.S. A major tornado outbreak is expected. Yes, the major bullseye is over Mississippi, but I don't want you to th think that, okay, well, it's Mississippi's problem, because that's not true. Uh, the, uh, the, the Storm Prediction Center has massaged the day one outlook, and you're going to see that in just a minute here, and also on the blog update below with complete details. Um, and now the, uh, ex the enhanced uh, level three risk has now gone past the Alabama state line into western Alabama and we have a level two risk all the way over to uh, the I-65 corridor right now. That's concerning. And, uh, and of course, when you get to Mississippi, you have a level four out of five moderate severe weather risk with violent uh, long track tornadoes expected today. Uh, in fact, they are likely. So this is a pretty big deal situation, but we're used to that here in Dixie Alley, right? This is our tornado, um, secondary tornado season. Unfortunately, very often it happens at ridiculous hours and it will again in this situation in the middle of the night. So uh, all the details are below and I will talk to you some more here in just a minute, but I want to show you the updated outlook now from the Storm Prediction Center. The first thing I noticed at one o'clock this morning when I saw this map from the Storm Prediction Center is the fact that that moderate risk, which sticks out like a sore thumb, level four dominates much of Mississippi and has, uh, you know, shifted southward. It used to be nudged up against the Memphis area. So that got my attention. Plus, the level three enhanced risk has now edged into West Alabama. And the level two risk is now as far east as the I-65 corridor. Then you get into the marginal severe weather risk. Um, I don't want to give you a false or distorted sense of safety, even if you're in the marginal risk area, because even though the dynamics for severe weather will fall apart once the system nears I-65, all of us have to be ready for tornado watches and warnings tonight. And so uh, definitely, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, don't, don't, take, uh, don't take that too lightly, even if you're in the marginal severe weather risk area. I think the radar will be quite active uh, even in the late afternoon into the early evening hours across Alabama. But I think the stronger threat for a lot of us for the uh, maybe most intense severe weather hours would be later on in the overnight hours. Uh, for instance, uh, I picked this out. This is one of the models at 4 o'clock in the morning. Notice that complex of storms uh, along a broken line moving through central Alabama. Some of those storms could be rotating and producing tornadoes. That's one high-res model. We'll take a look at this one. This is another high-res model at 4 o'clock in the morning showing a similar situation, showing the line of storms with uh, individual uh, cells that could be rotating as well. And here's one more model showing a similar theme in the early morning hours. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a night where we need to stay weather aware in the middle of the night. And uh, certainly we'll be watching the situation very carefully on radar. There's more details in the blog section below on the details. Okay, so that's all I know right now uh, as far as what's going on with, uh, again, the complete details below in the uh, blog section, including future radar, uh, expected rainfall, and so much more, plus an outlook uh, for the next few days that takes you right on through the upcoming weekend. All right, this morning everything's normal, live on the radio, of course, 6 to 9, News Talk 93.1, and uh, I'll be, we'll be on TV on CBS 8 and ABC 32 as well. Uh, tomorrow morning will not be a regular morning. You will not get a regular update from me tomorrow morning because there will be ongoing severe 
severe weather coverage. Uh, you'll see updates uh, on uh, very likely the tornado watch and uh, probably some warnings as well. Uh, I'll be at the station at a ridiculous hour uh, late tonight, of course, and uh, uh, we'll get back to uh, more of a normal schedule as we get into uh, Thursday morning, all right? Uh, and so uh, you'll find us uh, not only on TV tonight, but also uh, at times, but also we'll be interrupting on the radio and on social media as needed. All right, that's all I have for you. We'll see you later. I hope you have our weather app on your phone or tablet. If you don't, please get it today. Uh, it's going to be very helpful with instant push notifications for severe weather alerts. It knows where you live, and uh, that's going to be helpful, plus radar, future radar. Uh, and uh, you'll see my tweets. You'll see all my updates as well. Uh, so it's going to be your best friend tonight. Get it on your phone or tablet today. It's free in the App Store. Search Rich Thomas Weather.